Neka is buying Amatem, an anti-malaria drug at her local pharmacy in Yaba, Lagos. There are many fake anti-malaria drugs on the market here, but thanks to a new technology, she can check whether the drug is genuine using her mobile phone. All Neka has to do is text a number on the packaging to the Drug Enforcement Agency. Within seconds, she gets a reply telling her whether the drug is fake or real. The innovation is a very good one. It's very good. Because before now, we walk into a pharmacy, you buy a drug, you're not sure of the genuity of the drug. And what you know is that you bought the drug and you walk out. But now, by your, on your own, without anybody's assistance, you can actually know the genuity of what you're buying. Staff at Nigeria's National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control in Yaba are behind the new technology. They spend hundreds of hours a week trying to detect fake drugs by testing them in laboratories. But it's not been enough to stop fake drugs getting into the country. And that's why the mobile phone technology has been introduced. We decided to resort to technology because, like I told you, with the sophistication in printing technology, the counterfeiters have become more sophisticated. The counterfeiters can copy and make copies of uh, the genuine product that look exactly like the genuine product. The technology is not only available for anti-malaria drugs like Amaten, it's also used on antibiotics too. But this represents a tiny percentage of the thousands of drugs available for sale in Nigeria. And consumers will have to depend on the willingness of the companies distributing the drugs to put the detection system on the packaging. And if a test reveals that a drug is fake, there's an emergency number that consumers can call to alert the authorities. Some drug manufacturers in Lagos are concerned about how successful the mobile detection system might be. My major concern really is that of availability. One, how much of the end users have access to telephone? It's mainly in the cities, yet malaria does not respect location. Consumers may be willing to pay more for their drugs so they can check whether they are real or fake, but they'll also want the Drug Enforcement Agency to improve its surveillance at Nigeria's ports so that fake drugs don't get into the country. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Lagos.